Is this what it feels like to be at like Comic-Con? Recently, someone tweeted at me and said, you should react to Mother. It's on another level. Those who've seen it know. The user Mel Bayzy, Mel Bayzy, Mel, you know who you are, said, Trin would not be able to watch this, OMG. And I said, is that a challenge? And they said, perhaps it is. So guess what? Guess what? I'm gonna be sitting down and watching Mother. Now, if you don't know what Mother is, Mother is a horror, like psychological movie starring Jennifer Lawrence. A lot of people compare it to Midsummer or Midsommar. I assume that Mother's gonna be something kind of like Black Swan or Midsommar, something similar to those that are not jump scare, but just very, very disturbing. I actually have been wanting to watch this. I've actually planned to watch it on my own many, many times, and I just haven't gotten around to doing it. I'm never in a state of mind by myself where I'm ready to watch it. So now is the time. Now is the time to take it on. And why not, first of all, make some content and also, make some money off of my fears. Cause who doesn't love capitalizing off their own fears? Me, baby. Today's video is sponsored by Audible. If you don't know, Audible is an audiobook listening app where you can listen to tons of audiobooks, podcasts, and more. Audible is the perfect way to consume content no matter what you're doing. You can use it while you are working out, when you're working, when you're doing everyday things around your house, or since summer is here and you guys are probably gonna be traveling, you can use Audible when you are going on any sort of trip. Audible has tons of content to entertain, inform, and inspire. It's easy to find the right listen, whether that's romance, thriller, mystery, or even informative content like wellness programs, sleep meditation, and podcasts that are on there. Audible has a 30-day free trial now, and in your 30-day free trial, you guys can actually check out one of my recommendations this month, which is, if you guys have been subscribed for a while, you know I've recommended The Cursed Prince and The Wicked King. It's a really good audiobook and I really recommend you guys go listen to it. Audible members get one free credit every single month and that is good for any title in the premium selection of bestsellers and new releases which you get to keep forever. You guys can go to audible.com slash trend level or text trend level to 500 500 to get one free audiobook, a 30 day free trial and access to their plus catalog. And there will also be a link in the description. Thank you Audible for sponsoring today's video and without further ado, let's get started. I just want to hop in here and say that if you guys are a super hardcore mother fan or if you watch movie commentaries and you want people to be super serious and if watching movie commentaries where people don't understand the movie bothers you, then maybe this is not the movie commentary for you. I really was not understanding this and now I've watched the movie three times and I completely understand it and I get all the references and I understand how obvious they all were but I just was not picking up what they were putting down the first time I watched it and that just so happened to be caught on camera and it's going to be the video that I share with you guys so if that bothers you then move along but if that doesn't bother you then I hope you enjoy the video okay let's get back into it and without further ado Let's begin. So the end of Midsummer is the beginning of Mother. Kind of sounds like a poem. What is that? Is that a diamond? That reminds me of the diamond from uh, the Barbie Rapunzel movie. Love that. Excuse me. <gasps> is this supernatural? I always think it's gonna be supernatural. And then it's just a cold. You guys are in a crisis. I'm on my way. It's beautiful. It's quite beautiful. It's quite stunning. But I'm scared. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it scared me. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I knew it was probably just gonna be him, but like, all that build up just for him, it's upsetting to me, but... In another sense, I also know that they were also doing that to show the layout of the house. I must think. I like it. I better show her. Okay, stinky girl. She likes to stink. Stinky girl likes stinky boys. <laughs> the stinky girl likes stinky boys. Good for her. It's late. Stay the night. No, I could Please, we'd enjoy the company, right? She's like, what are you talking about? What was that? We would not enjoy the company absolutely not you guys are crazy you guys are crazy how would how why would he do that to her 
why would he do that to her might as well just kick my wife out you can you can have her spot like he's just being a bitch we don't know him he's a doctor why are doctors the most trustworthy people in the world they are just not i'm so sorry like just because someone is a, just because someone is a healthcare worker doesn't mean that they're like a saint doesn't mean that they're a lovely little angel i met a lot of healthcare workers and they're just completely rude bitches they're like the devil reincarnated who was put in the wall who who got put in the wall who is still in that wall baby someone's gonna be in that wall and maybe you're gonna be put into that wall this is very very delicate it's from the barbie movie you've heard of it <laughs> is everything all right <laughs> Uh, he drank too much. He'll be fine. He is naked throwing up on our toilet. Um, it seemed he seemed to be fine until he touched that little stone. So what is the issue? Is she pregnant? Is this gonna all lead back to like her pregnancy symptoms? Like she's like, oh my god, I've been feeling so crazy the last few days, and he's like, oh my god, you're pregnant. But really, it's like a demonic presence within her home. Oh, is that just turmeric? If it's just turmeric, I'm gonna scream. Don't worry about it, I'll take it outside. Very strong presence of fire, heat in this. Someone's burning at the end of this. Someone's, someone's burning in hell. <laughs> like, why did they do that? And now that I am thinking about it, I should go and do something about it. I am bored. I'm bored. Bored as can be. All I'm thinking of is how rude these house guests are. How they're so inconsiderate. That's all I'm thinking right now. And how he's kind of just treating her as a maid. She doesn't really seem like a wife. She seems like a maid to me. The way he's treating her. Believe me, when they get older, you gotta keep it interesting. Like, it's literally not creepy. It's not scary. They're just fucking assholes. They're dicks. Is it a long love? What the fuck is that? Did he cough up his lung or something? That's upsetting. What have you done? I'm so sorry. We're both sorry. Find we another one, I promise. Quiet! Quiet! You broke my diamond that rose from the ashes. They finally got scolded, thank God. They should have been scolded a long time ago. They were just very rude this entire time. They were literally assholes this entire time and he only yelled at them whenever they broke his precious diamond. What the fuck? I would not give them privacy. They're literally having s -s 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 sexual acts. Sex they're doing sexual activity in your home after they just broke one of your husband's prized possessions. Literally, I'd scream at them. That stuff is doing something to her. She keeps drinking it, but I think it's like actually making it worse. This looks like the house of Anubis house. And everyone has something to hide. You know when he drops the pin at the end of the night? He's like, once you hear the pin drop, there will be no talking after that. So. By the way, my scare meter, I'm not scared at all. If anything, I'm angry. I'm angry, I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off that characters like this exist. That's how I feel. Oh, hey. Who are you? Hey, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm the owner of this house. So. No, no, please stay with me. Please, we need him. Lock the door so I'll be back as soon please as I can. Please don't leave me, don't leave me. I would be pissed. I'd be like, can I at least come? <laughs> like, also, where did they go? Where's the car? Where's the road? Where's anything? Like, it looks like they are just in the middle of nowhere with no way of getting out except for walking. There's no way you would catch me cleaning that up. I'm so sorry, but those are the people you invited, husband? Well, get fucked, you're cleaning it up. But also I feel like I don't know anyone's names. <laughs> Whenever she talks, the, the closed captions just say mother. They don't say any name for her. She's nameless. The thing that I fear the most in this moment is missing all of the foreshadowing clues, all of the clues and cues it gives me right now. I'm fearful for that when I end this video or when I post this, people are gonna be like, how did you not understand this? But is it really supposed to be easy to understand, babes? Is it? Is it supposed to be a straightforward movie? I don't think so. 
Ah! <laughs> that was such a subtle rev- It's such a subtle reveal and I still had a little spook. Just the way his stance was scared me. We are 52 minutes in and all I'm sensing is that these house guests were very rude. They were very not pleasant and they brought their family drama here. The house bleeds. The house aches. The house bleeds because there's people within the house, within the walls, if you will, that are also bleeding. My husband and I are so touched. We lost our baby today. How does everyone have funeral attire so quickly? Just, it's been just a few hours and they're already in funeral attire. I am so confused. How are all these people already acting like this is the day after the funeral? Where did you go? I was just in there. This is like a dream. It's a nightmare. Like where like no one is listening to you and everyone's mad at you, but everyone loves you and everyone has an issue and you need to help everyone at all at the same time. You can't imagine what it feels like if you don't have a child. Is she gonna have a child and then they're gonna take it away from her? Is that why it's called mother? Oh my God, I hate that. I hate that. She's gonna get pregnant. They're all gonna come back. They're gonna take away her child and that's why it's called mother. Get down from there. From where? See, get shit, off the fucking, do for you. The, it's know, sink. It's not braised you. yet. No, stop doing that. Don't do that. Stop. Stop doing that. The sink is not braised yet, and I told you that, and you didn't listen to me. And then you started bumping your big behinds on it. Your big dump trucks. So, and look where we are now. Get out! Look where we are now. And we'll never forget all you've done. Where did you go? If someone wanted to ask me, what is it like to be in one of your dreams, one of your nightmares that you have constantly, because I have constant nightmares, I would show them this movie because it's not the level of scary, it's the disoriented feeling while watching it. That's that's what it is. That's 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 the ultimate feeling I'm getting from this. Something that's recurring a lot in my dreams is I yell at people a lot because no one's listening to me and I scream at them in my dreams because they're not listening to me and they're getting angry at me, but all I'm trying to do is make them listen. And so, like, I'm really feeling this movie. No! Oh, I don't like this. I don't like whatever's happening. He's trying to prove a point, and I don't want it right now. I don't- I don't want to have a commentary on that scene, because whatever it was, I didn't like it. I still don't know what that is. I still don't know what that is. I'm thinking it's turmeric. That's the only thing that I thought it was this entire time. We're getting... Vampire baby. I'm getting Twilight, Breaking Dawn, part one energy from this. This is what I'm receiving from it all. It moved! It moved! I finished it. Seems a bit connected that her baby's first kick um, was also the time where he finished his thingy. The time duration of her thing is making me go insane because i don't really understand is it twilight timing and is this baby growing at an expedited rate because everything else seems to happen at an ex expedited rate so why wouldn't her baby come at an expedited rate whatever it is it's not making me feel comforted i like how she just goes finger first into that unknown spot on a rug not what i would do not something that would I would do in my lifetime of growing up with animals around the house would not go finger first into any unknown substance on the floor. Not not the thing that would go through my mind. What are you doing? Who are they? I don't know. He's a fucking liar. He's giving out their address. He is such a liar. I don't know. They've come here to see me. They've come here to see me? Fuck you. You're giving out our address, bitch. I know you are. One thing, it's one thing to have crazy fans, it's another thing to just completely enable them. And to be honest, I think it's a setup. I don't think they're crazy fans that are just stalking him. I think he's giving that shit out. I think he's inviting people. And I won't stand for it. We have like 30 minutes left, what is gonna happen? Because nothing scary has happened. Just stuff that has pissed me off. I'm about to have our baby. Why is that not enough for you? Of course it's enough. I don't want to be alone with you. I'm with you.
people need to give Jennifer Lawrence more credit because even in that one scene, she is serving and she is eating up that entire scene. And the Oscar goes to Jennifer Lawrence. I mean, obviously she has like an Academy Award. She, she gets credit where credit is due. But I think a lot of the times when people talk about great acting performances, they don't talk about like these small ones where she's just like, please stay with me. Oh, my genius. Okay. <laughs> okay, Kristen Wiig. What are you doing in here? How are you feeling? Hot? It's hot in here. Is it me? Oh my God. It's just so hot in this house that was previously burnt down to the ground. It's, I love all of these little references. They're quirky and fun. I love the references to the burning house. Really livens up the place. Get out! All of you! Stop! Literally just as she finished the house. Like the house is finished finally and they're just taking everything from it. I don't know how she's being so nice. She's like, please don't touch that. Just get out. Like, I'm just not about that. I'd start killing people. Literally. What is a scavenger hunt? Did he leave a scavenger hunt in that poem? He put some Morse code in there. He put, he definitely put the address in the poem. Oh my God. Girl, the painting again. Is this what it feels like to be at like Comic-Con? They were trapped inside the walls. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my God. This is a different movie. What's the disconnect here? What's the disconnect here that we've gotten to this point? Because I am lost. The inspiration. Where have you been hiding? Finisher. What, what are we talking about? The revolutionary. Okay, so that bitch just died. There's an explosion. The revolutionary. Was his poems actually a revolutionary? Like he was trying to start a revolution. That bitch died. It's okay. She executed a bunch of random people. What is a timeline, babe? What is a timeline? What's the time duration of this all, babe? What a lovely commentary on parasocial relationships. They're just waiting. Waiting for what? I don't know. Liar. I know that bitch is lying. He's been lying the entire time. Make them go. I can't, they're my fans. After all this, he's still like, I just want to show them my appreciation. Why won't you? I don't want them to go. Yeah, knew it. He said, you know that saying it takes a village? I want that village. And I want to be the leader of it. Let me hold him. No. I'm his father. I'm his mother. That's where they got the title from. I don't know either of their names. They've called him the poet the entire movie and her close caption has just said mother. So I have no idea who's anyone's name is. This is killing me because I noticed their close captions um, for their names as the poet and mother, but I did not read the amount of times that the closed captions for the extras and the background characters saying disciples. And like, that's so embarrassing for me. <laughs> if he just made them go, he could hold his baby, but he doesn't want to do that because he wants to give up his baby because that's going to be like a poetic gesture, I guess. Fuck you. I hate this movie. I, I never want to watch this again. <laughs> I would not like to participate in this viewing again. Where's my baby? No! No! No, you give me back that baby. You're not doing a, a little circle of life thing. Where's my baby? Where's <gasps> no! No, 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 no. Oh, fuck that motherfucker. No baby, no real babies were harmed in the making of this film because that is not a real baby. <laughs> a voice still cries out to be heard. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. That's the 
sound of life. I'm gagging. I'm tearing up. Oh my god, thank god. Good for her. I hope she kills everyone. I hope she blows up this. They what is going on? Oh my god! I didn't actually end up saying this while I was filming, but this had to be one of the most disturbing parts of the film I watched, even, you know, that I just watched the baby scene, this one, of Jennifer Lawrence's character just getting brutally beat up um, by this mob um, was, to me, felt completely unnecessary. Um, there are ways they could have allude, like they could have insinuated that her character was getting beat up without showing it so graphically. It was really uncomfortable for me to watch. Um, just seemed like another way to torture women in film um, for the sake of, you know, art. But it's not really art. It's just brutally abusing women. And I thought it was really hard to watch. And of course, it's supposed to be hard to watch. But to me, it seemed really quite unnecessary. I feel like the film could have done without it and it could have portrayed that message um, and it already kind of did portray that message without this scene. That's just my opinion. We butchered our son! I know. I know. You're insane! They butchered him and ate him. They literally ate his son. And he's like, we have to find a way to forgive them. They're my fans. I have to show appreciation for them. No! Yeah, queen. Literally not even sad. Good for her. Burn it down. Burn it down to the ground. Is he invincible or something? How is he alive? <laughs> That's annoying. You were home. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Where are you taking me? The beginning. Of what? Time? <laughs> to be honest, I don't really know what's going on and I don't really give a fuck about what's going on. I'm never fucking getting involved with a poet ever in my life. Fuck you guys. And that is derogatory. What I am. No, I must try it all again. Oh my god. This is like his like probably his like 50th time trying this. And that's what you missed. Hungry. Yeah. I knew it was coming, but it just didn't. Like what the fuck? I don't enjoy it. And that's gonna be the diamond, babes. That's gonna be the diamond. I bet it is. And it, that stone just revives the house. It's the heart of the home because she was the home. That's upsetting. That's like, like actually so upsetting. Like it's not even funny at this point. Like, cause she was home. I hate this. Yo, fuck this movie. Fuck it. Yo, fuck this movie. Baby? Yeah, fuck this movie. Fuck this movie! I can't stress that enough. This was the most infuriating movie I've ever watched. I've watched really bad movies. I've watched really good movies. I've watched really disturbing movies. And I just want to say a big ol' like with my whole heart, with my whole chest, fuck this movie. Literally, why was it like that? Before I look up, I'm gonna look up the meanings of all of it in a second so we can like go through it together and y'all won't yell at me in the comments and be like how did you miss every single point of the movie because i hate it when you guys do that i'm gonna give my thoughts on it before i look everything up first of all my stomach hurts uh, i just want to point out a f physical effect of the movie my stomach hurts no it wasn't something i ate i ate something very delicious today but my stomach hurts it's a bit queasy it's a bit um, a bit nauseous at this point. Um, I'm sweating a lot. I'm sweating a lot. It's not that hot of a day here. I haven't been hot the entire day and I'm really sweating. Like my armpits are sweating profusely right now. The points that I got from this movie are never invite people into your house. Um, never date or marry or get involved with a poet ever. And do some research on that stone, baby. Do some research on that stone, because what the fuck was that? What's the meaning behind this? Is this a commentary on parasocial relationships? Is it a commentary on cults? Is it a commentary on what is the purpose of this film and what is it supposed to represent? Because to be honest, my takeaway from it is that I won't be stepping 
into any sort of contact with the poet. So the first thing that pops up is drawing stories on symbols from the Bible, Victorian literature, and even the giving tree. Mother is an allegory for climate change told from the point of view from Mother Earth herself. Darren on Aronofsky, Aronofsky. He personally describes the film as an assault and a fever dream. That makes sense. The film depicts the rape and torment of Mother Earth. It's not for everybody. You see, God's creation have a tendency to go wild, leading him to continuously wash away his work and start anew over and over until things run more smoothly. Bardem's character is also obsessed with a mysterious crystal that he keeps in his office, which nobody is allowed to touch and often takes advantage of Lawrence's kindly nature. But she takes it in her stride, insisting that her husband is a very special sort of genius and needs time and space to create his work. He refers to the final 25 minutes as one of his best accomplishments just because it's a nightmare. It builds and builds on top of it, of documenting the horrors of our world and throws a pregnant woman into it. In the span of the final half hour, he creates somewhat incredibly charts the biblical plagues in the history of the world in a dizzying sequence. When Barden points out that she still has a heart, she gives him permission to take that too. He plunges his hands into her chest cavity and pulls out her last bit of life. Here's a tree that gives up everything for the boy, Aronofsky said of the parallel that's pretty much the same thing in a nod to hindu religion which states that god created and destroyed the universe infinite times the cycle begins again ashes crystals a new home a new mother so i guess this me is basically sticking my foot in my own mouth because i was really confused why i was so confused at why no one had character names why i was confused about basically everything that was going on and i didn't really understand the references and the allegory they were trying to make It stems that I don't have a very religious background. I don't partake in religion. I am not a very religious person. But I do like this idea delving into something that I think we read about a lot. I know especially when you're researching and looking into the beginning of the universe. We read about it and we hear, you know, God created the earth several times infinite amount of times he just keeps going and going and going like that's why there's no beginning but i like putting it into something more simplistic i wouldn't call this movie simplistic but after reading into it a little bit more i do have a bigger a better appreciation for it i think i went out of it just kind of feeling like ew i feel gross this was confusing i don't get it a lot of times when you don't like stuff it comes from not understanding it and that was very right. Maybe some people did automatically get that all the allegories in this. Maybe they already got that she was Mother Nature. Maybe they already got that he was a he was a placeholder for God. Maybe you got that, but I didn't. My first my first thought was to go to demon, demon house, demon baby, demon man, and I I do like it that it's showing the abuse and assault of mother nature in this day and age. I think earlier I said that I wouldn't watch this film again. I think I would watch it again to watch it while understanding the references and like the true meaning behind it all because, you know, I didn't get it. Of course, I like knowing more about films and like knowing the true meaning behind it. And I'm glad I got to look this up and to understand what they were trying to go for because I really didn't understand it. And that's totally okay if you don't understand it. That's like completely okay. If you don't understand something like, I don't know. I feel like I always feel bad about not understanding movies after I watch them. And I feel really dumb and I feel not smart enough to be watching these movies. I don't want people to watch my videos. And uh, first of all, I don't want you guys to get mad at me for not understanding something because what the fuck? Was this supposed to be an easy to consume piece of media? No. But I also want to be honest with you guys when I don't understand something and to also make it more normal to like not understand everything because bitch, some people on YouTube, they just be like, I understand everything. I'm so smart, especially like in movie portions of YouTube. They're just like, you didn't get that. You're a fucking idiot, especially men. 
ew everyone's just so pretentious everyone's got to stick up their ass everyone wants to act like they knew it before everyone else did i'm sure there's tons of people that watch mother and were like oh my god i got it before anyone else did how did you not understand that well fuck off go suck your own dick leave me alone and i just want to like you know give an honest reaction give honest feedback and if i find out stuff that gives me a greater appreciation for the film then that's amazing too we don't have to have this super thing of i knew i knew it was an allegory for mother nature and god before the film even ended i knew right when right when jennifer lawrence showed up i knew it i knew what it was all about i probably would have gave the movie a three out of five stars um before i looked up the meaning because although i was really confused and really disturbed and had tummy aches um, I still thought it was a really beautiful film, the acting was amazing, and it definitely got me feeling a lot of feelings, and I appreciate any film that can do that. Um, but after looking up the meaning of it and having a better appreciation for it, I think after like another watch, I probably would give it a 5 out of 5 stars, like watching it again while understanding everything that they're trying to portray in the movie i think i would probably give it a five out of five stars because i think that's actually brilliant let me know what you think about this movie do you guys like it did you guys understand it the first time you watched it were you smarter than everyone else were you were you coming out of the movie theater being like yep got it mother nature god adam and eve Mwah. Oh, and that makes so much sense that they were having to me because they were fucking. You guys should definitely leave a comment. Tell me your thoughts on this film and let me know your favorite part of the film. Let me know which scene did you like the best. That's it. Peace out. Don't yell at me. See you later, guys. Bye.